In this video, we'll discuss the main features of smart device applications. Mainly, there are three types of applications, native applications, web applications, and hybrid applications. In this course, we'll focus on the development of native applications. Native applications are those we download from the app stores, such as Play Store for Android or App Store for iOS. We'll see their benefits and advantages, and the ability provided by Genexus to code only once and then generate for different operating systems. Among native applications, with Genexus, we can also generate the so-called super apps and mini apps. Super apps are mobile applications that go beyond their main function and also offer various services and features. For example, in the case of an app that allows you to send messages to different contacts, as well as to order food, book a trip, pay your bills, and so on. An example of this type of application is the WeChat application from China. In addition to the main chat function, it also allows you to make mobile payments, buy tickets, book hotels, and so on. All of these additional functions are called mini-apps. Mini-apps are lighter and more specific applications that run inside a super app. Instead of downloading a standalone application, users can access these mini-apps from the main super app. Mini-apps are ideal when you only need to perform a specific task and don't want to clutter your device with standalone apps. They're quick to load and use less storage space. In Genexus, we'll be able to build back-office and customer-facing applications. Customer-facing applications, they're designed to interact directly with end-users. Their main objective is to provide services, information, or products to users in an efficient and satisfactory way. These applications focus on user experience. Back office applications. They're intended for an organization's internal staff to manage internal processes, track data, and perform administrative tasks. These applications are not created or oriented to end users. An important aspect in the case of back office applications has to do with security. Of course, not any user is going to be authorized to make modifications to the application data, which will be centralized on a server. For this, we'll also have to incorporate security modules in the applications for mobile devices that can then restrict the authorized users and even restrict what actions they can perform on the different modules of the application. Besides developing applications in Java or .NET for web, Genexus also allows us to develop applications for Apple devices running on iOS and Swift or Java for Android devices. Genexus also allows generating the front end in Angular as well as for the web. In Genexus, we can generate the same application regardless of the platform we choose. We'll only program or design for specific platform characteristics when necessary. One important aspect to consider when developing mobile applications will be their connectivity status. That is, whether the application will work online, offline, or with a mix of both. Online applications require an active internet connection to work properly. They rely on real-time communication with remote servers. Examples of this type of application are social networking or messaging applications. These applications need to constantly send and receive data over the network. On the other hand, offline applications are designed to work without a constant connection to the internet. These applications store data locally on the user's device, in a local database, and can operate independently. This is different from online applications, which don't have a local database. Some applications use a hybrid approach, combining both online and offline features. This allows users to enjoy the core functionality of the application even when they're offline. 
but they can also access additional features online. For example, an email application may allow you to read emails offline, or even write a new email, but you will need to be connected to send new emails and or sync your inbox. For these types of applications, we'll want the user to continue viewing all the information that doesn't require them to be online, even when they lose connection. Then, when the connection is reestablished, the application will automatically update its local data by synchronizing with the data from the centralized server. This synchronization is carried out by sending and receiving information in a bi-directional way, and these operations will be known as send and receive. However, some tasks will require access to the web server, either because of their sensitivity or how fast the data changes. All these tasks must be executed online. For example, we might need an application login to be a task that is only performed online. And once logged in, we can use the application while offline. In Genexus, we can select which objects of the application will be executed offline and which won't. It's important to keep in mind that online applications will not have a local database and will always be connected to the web server to get the information. As for the characteristics of native applications for mobile devices, we know that the user experience is fundamental. Each platform has different guidelines regarding the look and feel of the application. That is, how the application should look, how the actions should look, and other matters that we'll see later. In addition, we'll also want them to integrate with the native functionalities of the device, both in terms of software and hardware. For example, that they integrate with the device's camera, with the program for making phone calls, with GPS, Bluetooth, and so on. Users will demand that their experience using the applications we develop is consistent with the rest of the applications that they use on their device. This is why, for mobile devices, we generally consider native applications as the best option for an optimal user experience. Therefore, as we've seen, Genexus offers a wide range of possibilities for the applications you can build. You can develop applications for all major mobile platforms, such as Android, iOS, and Harmony OS, the operating system of Huawei devices. As a result, you can reach a global audience. As for the user interface, Genexus gives you the flexibility to design applications that adapt to different types of devices smartwatches, cell phones, tablets, TV sets. This allows you to provide an optimal user experience regardless of the device used. Genexus also allows you to develop applications in both online and offline mode, with the ability to access the data and functionality of the application even when you have no internet connection. In addition, as mentioned above, Genexus allows creating super apps and mini apps. With Genexus, we'll be able to develop applications that look the same or very similar on different devices, while at the same time taking advantage of the specific features of each platform. As usual, all this will be done mostly in an automatic and transparent way for the developer.